So you're looking to upgrade your graphics card. You start by opening Amazon, Newegg, Best Buy, whatever, only to find there's an incredible number of options to choose from. How do you know whether card A for $350 is really worth the extra money versus card B for $300? Well, don't worry, we're here to help you out with that. And no, we are not talking about the rap artist. That was a Cardi B joke for you. The first thing to know in order to even begin this conversation is your budget, because that's how we're going to categorize our picks today as we cover every price range. Let's begin, shall we? Now, those of you with the deepest wallets will have it easy, for more reasons than just buying graphics cards. If you've got over $1,000 to spend, you should only really be looking at the RTX 4080 Super or the RTX 4090. Just get whichever you can afford and knock yourself out researching which specific model tickles your fancy the most and will tickle your case the most most beautiful like. If you're trying to stay under a thousand bucks, then you've got a couple options to consider. The Radeon RX 7900 XTX is hands down the best brand new GPU under a grand. It actually nips at the heels of the RTX 4080 Super if you want to go ahead and save some money. Of course, the Radeon cards we mentioned won't have as good ray tracing performance, but that becomes less important the further we go down in price point as it's not likely worth enabling for any card you buy towards the low end. If spending over $800 on a graphics card is isn't an option for you, then we advise you to skip the RTX 4070 Ti Super and grab an RX 7900 XT for $650, saving a couple hundred bucks in doing so and sacrificing no performance outside of ray tracing. It's around this price range that you could also get lucky and snag a used RX 7900 XTX for under $800 if you're watching used listings. I've also seen the brand new ones go for $799 on great sale, so that might also happen this holiday shopping season. But you know what's significantly cheaper than all these cards and can help elevate your PC experience? Today's video sponsor, ProtoArc. If you have a job that requires you to travel frequently, then you know how hard it is to stay productive on the go. Whether it's just having to look down at your laptop or just not really enjoying using a trackpad, working on the go can slow you down. Luckily, today's sponsor, ProtoArc, is here with great ergonomic solutions to help keep your work flowing on the go. Even luckier, from November 18th through December 1st, you can enjoy 25% off with their Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. Some fantastic productivity solutions you'll find on sale, and actually items we've covered on the channel before, are the XK01, the XKM01, and the XKM01 Case Up. Starting with the XK01, which is a component found in all of these kits, we have a super light and portable folding keyboard. This board unfolds and is ready to use in mere seconds, with travel and leisure calling the XK01 the ideal solution for those with jobs that just involve inputting a lot of numbers. You can see how having a full-size keyboard be travel-sized is so important. Moving on to the XKM01, we find the same great keyboard, only now paired with ProtoArc's equally as portable Bluetooth mouse. Coming as a convenient combo, the XKM01 was deemed a mini office in a case and nothing short of ingenious by Forbes. Kyler here has actually borrowed this combo from the office to use his laptop on vacation and it worked perfectly for what he needed. Lastly, we have the XKM01 case up, which may seem familiar to you because we actually talked about this great combo very recently on the channel. Expanding on the already great XKM01, the case up adds in an impressively compact and sturdy laptop stand. When we tried this out recently, Michael was able to unpack and set up his mobile workstation in just 56 seconds. Plus, much like like 9to5Mac reported, we also love tech that folds. With any or all of these portable productivity solutions easily fitting in a backpack, suitcase, or even a purse, ProtoArc is the go-to place for all of your travel peripheral needs. As mentioned earlier, check out their Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale from November 18th through December 1st and enjoy 25% off. Links in the description below. Huge thanks to ProtoArc for sponsoring today's video. Now getting back to it, at around the five to $600 price range, things start to heat up real nice as we've got a lot of options. We've done some shopping around to get some rough pricing information on most of the cards you're likely to encounter and put it all into a table. On the table, you can see there's a ton of cards, but we've highlighted in green what we see as the best deals and red for what we'd recommend you stay away from. On the new market, you can get an RTX 4070 Super for $600, a 4070 G6X for $500, or once again, going Team Red will stretch your dollar further. One thing to remember with the 4070 is that there's two versions out there, the original faster GDDR6X version and the newer, slightly slower, G6 
GDDR6 version. It's only slower by like one to 5% at most, but it's something you have to look out for. We might be sounding like a broken record at this point, but the RX 7800 XT and the 7700 XT do yet again undercut their Nvidia counterparts to make them a better value at under $500. Likewise, the previous generation RX 6800 XT, RX 6800, and 6750 XT all fit tightly in this performance range as well, though availability of new stock is dwindling. The RTX 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte and 16 gigabyte models really aren't worth anything near $400 when you can easily find RX 7700 XTs for the same price. So we'd stay away from those cards altogether. The RTX 3070 isn't terrible for $400 new, but be aware that it's stuck with a measly eight gigabytes of memory. And if you wanna know how limiting that is, you can check our video of the 3070 versus the 6800 right up there. On the used market, four to $500 can get you some really sweet deals. If you've got a solid high wattage power supply in your system, an RX 6950 XT or 6900 XT can go for under $500. That's basically RTX 3090 Ti performance for RTX 4070 money. Mets. Some of these high-end RX 6000 cards are still available new for a fair price, so be sure to check that out first. I was able to pick up a 6950 XT for $425, including tax, brand new. And if you can manage to find an RTX 3080 Ti for closer to $400, then that's not bad either. But if you're looking to stay under $400 buying use, then the RX 6800 XT, 7700 XT, and RTX 3080 10 gigabyte are excellent choices. Closer to $300, $100, you can snag an RX 6800 non-XT, which we found to be pretty significantly ahead of the RTX 3070. So we'd once again recommend skipping Team Green at the $300 price point. If you've got $300 and you're only considering new cards, then the RX 7600 XT, RX 7600, and RX 6650 XT are going to be your best bet because once again, they simply outperform their NVIDIA counterparts in FPS per dollar terms. The best choice really would be a new RX 6750 XT for $300 dollars because they trounce anything else at this price point, but they look like they might be running out any minute. On the used market for under $300, the 6750 XT, 6700 XT, and 6700 are our top picks. If you want to stick closer to $200, then you should keep an eye out for used RTX 3060 Ti since they're trending that way. There's some good older cards in this price range you can find as well, such as the RTX 2080, 2080 Super, and 2080 Ti. At $200, there aren't many good new options. So the RX 6600 is the obvious choice in our eyes. Again, though, this card might also be in short supply. So you might also consider rolling the dice with an Intel Arc A750. I know, I know, Arc does kind of suck, but it does often perform close to an RTX 3060 or an RX 6650 XT. For under $200, that's really not bad if that's what's available, but we wouldn't pay a penny more than that. Honestly, though, for $200, the best advice we can give you is to buy used. Seriously, RTX 2080s are starting to dip below $200, but really anything RX 6600, RTX 2070, or RTX 3060 and higher would be killer if you can snag something in this price range. So to sum up our new card recommendations, We've got the RX 7800 XT or 6950 XT at $500, the RX 6800 for $350, the RX 7600 or 6650 XT for $250, or the RX 6600 or ARC A750 for $200. To sum up our used recommendations, we've again got the RX 6950 XT for under $500, the RTX 3080 for under $400, the RX 6800 for $300, or the RTX 3060 for $200. Some honorable mentions go to the 20 series, as well as the RTX 3060 Ti and 3070. We can't wholeheartedly recommend these because of their VRAM limitations, but they're good performers and can be had for a good price if you shop around. Overall, prices look to have finally reached a sensible level, and with the next generation of cards looming, there might even be some desperate sales as retailers look to shed their last supplies of older cards this holiday season. Though, with the threat of tariffs on imported goods coming soon, you might be wary of waiting until next year to make your upgrade purchases. As usual, the high end will probably release first, so prospective 4090 and 4080 buyers will probably find it worth waiting out the rest of this year. You've made it this far, essentially. Those of you with a budget under $600 do have a lot of awesome value options. So really, we can't blame you for jumping on a discount, current, or previous gen card. But that's all for now, guys. Happy deal hunting, and let us know in the comments what you're eyeing up and what deals you found and which card you ultimately end up 
going with. 